the platform that i have chosen is a course platform the inspiration for this platform was a uh, lack of a quality education lack of skill in graduates and lack of quality education in students across the country especially in the villages and remote areas of the country uh in the recent years we have observed that uh the quality of internet and the speed of internet and these prices of internet have gone down and the quality of internet and the price, speed of the internet has increased significantly this has led to a boom of internet in our country and i feel that online education that boom, that this boom has uh, presented as a uh, opportunity to uh, leverage this and propagate online education throughout the country so uh, this operation this business plan <clears throat> the following is a business plan that contains the following things it contains the executive summary that is to be read by the management and this usually it is read by the management and is used to decide whether they want to read it for read the business plan further or not so this is i believe the most crucial part of the plan the next on is elevator pitch which is supposed to get the reader hyped up about the business plan uh the next is company format and structure containing the company's goals its format and these and the company's hierarchical structure and uh, the next is a SWOT analysis report of the platform which contains strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats uh, that has been that have been analyzed um, by research and uh, the next up is survey which is obtained by taking a survey of 10 students uh, sharing their views on the uh, online education in India and uh, some other details uh, and data that could help us further in the uh, development of business plan uh, next up is expenses and funding reports uh, estimating uh, giving an estimate of how much money will be required for uh, the project and uh, next is pricing strategy uh, so that discusses how we'll price the project and the product the, uh, that is our course in courses in this case and uh, then the next up is outreach strategy where uh, we will showcase how we did, uh, want to uh, promote our pro products and the final is operational plan which discusses how we will operate the project and the product uh, company so executive management uh, executives uh, summary contains a summary of the entire business plan and uh, i feel that this is very insightful as uh, the management judges the entire business plan on the basis of the quality of the executive summary so uh, my exec executive summary contains uh, first of all the vision of the company that is uh, that the education is a great enabler and it is every child's birthright and that's why I feel that it should reach to every child and uh, that is the motive why the platform exists then we go on to explain uh, why ch children need to have this quality education and how this will change their lives and uh, the further on we discuss uh, things that have been uh, discussed in detail in the uh, rest of the business plan so moving on to an elevator pitch so elevator pitch starts with the mind-blowing fact about the country that uh, india produces the second largest number of graduates in the world and in spite of that we are lagging behind uh, many countries uh, that are way smaller than us in terms of population and in terms of size so the reason for that is lack of skills and that is another uh, reason to run the business so uh, the next up is company's format and structure which is very simple uh, it contains the name of the business the mission statement the format the target market 
and the competitors and the industry and the company structure the sport analysis like i discussed earlier contains the strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats so our strengths are the pricing model is cheap so it will bring the students to us and the quality of education is good and the program is online so it is very easy to scale which enables us to reach the uh, corners of the uh, india and not even the country uh, not just the country even the world is uh, in scope for the platform and the weaknesses is lack of internet in some parts of india which is i feel uh, something that will be covered uh, by the development that is ta being taking place in our country and this lack of awareness and lack of branding uh, i feel that companies like buy choose and uh, uh, upgrade are very predatory and uh, they are running the business the wrong way and that is where our, our businesses our business has the opportunity to uh, have the upper hand and grab the business from them so next up is a survey that discusses some basic information that has been uh, taken from the students so basic questions like how many courses do you take for in a year why would you take a course and uh, what matters most to you while taking a course and what matters the second most or how much would you pay for a course and next up the survey discusses the uh, the rate of growth of uh, education in india and uh, how we can enter the market and uh, how much scope do we have to, of growth in the market and next we discuss the amount of learners in the country and uh, i present some of the learnings from uh the surveys and uh, next up i discuss uh, expenses which have been discussed and uh, divided in three uh, phases that is one time expense monthly expense and weekly expenses and then there's pricing strategy pricing strategy for our business has, is be uh, is going to be very simple uh we are going to adopt a product based pricing model just like uh, a company my like britannia or a uh, parlay does for biscuits so it's just like that uh, we are trying to make a small margin off of a product and uh, giving it to a large number of people so we don't need to be customer centric that much and that is why this is the model that i have chosen and uh, our outreach strategy is going to be uh, putting social media ads posting social media posts uh, going uh, to schools and running campaigns there and uh, running uh, giving out free courses giving out uh scholarships to the students on the basis of tests so i feel that these uh, strategies will uh, work very well for us and then the finally the operational plan contains uh, the layout of how we'll uh, be developing the courses 